This morning, a bombshell report is revealing details about the leak of what appears to be highly classified U.S. military documents. According to the Washington Post, the alleged leaker is in his 20s and worked on a military base. The Post reports he shared several documents a week beginning late last year with a group of about two dozen people on Discord, an online chat room popular with gamers. I don't think that there was a goal nor some sort of accomplishment that he was looking for in sharing these documents. A member of the chat Chatroom says the man called America's intelligence community a sinister force that sought to suppress its citizens and keep them in the dark. The Washington Post says it spoke to a friend of the alleged leaker, agreeing not to name or show the young man who said this about his friend. He had disagreed with several occasions such as Waco and Ruby Ridge and thought that the government is overreaching in several aspects. The report did not name the alleged leaker and ABC News has not verified the report. In a statement, Discord said it's cooperating with law enforcement as the Justice Department opens a criminal investigation. Meanwhile, the Biden administration is trying to contain fallout from the leak, which included dozens of apparently classified Pentagon documents exposing top secret intelligence. The files suggest potential problems for Ukraine, including a dire shortage of air defense missiles. The head of Ukrainian military intelligence says he spoke with his U.S. counterparts about the leak. He blames Russia for the leak, but the friend of the alleged leaker disputes that. He is not a Russian operative. He is not a Ukrainian operative. I'll go as far to say he's not even on the east side of the world. He was a, he was a young, charismatic man who loved nature, God, who loved shooting guns and, and racing cars. The Post agreeing not to name or show that friend. U.S. officials are likely to face more questions when they travel to Germany next week when representatives of more than 50 nations gather to coordinate weapons and aid support for Ukraine. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.